man, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if it's even worth it. You know, you try and you try and people always find something to complain about. It's to the point where, you know, you find out that people talk behind your back and, and it just, it ain't no good. Sometimes you wonder if it's even worth being a Christian. And, uh, you know, the more I think about it, it's like maybe if I just let it out and talk about it. Nobody ever said ministry or even being a Christian was going to hurt this bad. This is hard. Sometimes people, people can just be so ugly that you just want to get them back. You want them to hurt like you hurt. And you're not really satisfied until they hurt like you hurt. If I could just find some people to be on my side, sometimes I feel like I'm all alone. But, you know, I want these people to hurt like I'm hurting. You know, I want them to have pain like I have pain. I mean... Who do they think they are? You know, I'm minding my own business and they, you know, they're talking about me. And they're saying ugly things and it just, it, it hurts right here, right in the heart. It feels like I'm dying sometimes. And it just, it ain't no good. It ain't no good at all. Sometimes the fun is gone. There's this one guy, he goes to my church, his name is uh, George, I believe it is, and uh, everything I do and everything I say, he has to go and, and run me down. And anyway, this guy George, he just, if there's any way I could get him back, if I could just talk, I'm just going to be glad when God gets him back. You know, when God gets him back for all the mean and ugly things he said, that's going to be when I feel good. I'm going to feel justified when God gets him back. I just, that's going to be the greatest thing. I've just had all I can stand, and I can't hardly stand anymore. Just one of these days, I'd love to get this guy back. It's almost like that's all I think about. How did you do that? Hey, Brother Wayne. Hey, Brother Farley. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. How you been? Well, you know, I just saw, sometimes, you know, you get tired of people talking about you. And one of these days, oh. you know that guy, George, that comes to our church? Oh. And he's been running me down, and I'm going to get him back. That's a shame. You know, I just, but, you know, brother, it's, it's just called righteous indignation. You know? I mean, you can only put up with this for so long, you know? But anyway, it's good seeing you, Farley. Yeah. It's just something that we need to pray about. I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm not gossiping. Yeah. It's something we need to pray about, okay? Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. And don't tell nobody. You know, that's between me and you. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Bye. I hate that dude. Not Farley. George. I can trust Farley. Sometimes you just got to have people to talk to, you know? That's all. This stuff's good. What it is, good. Good morning. How, how are you? Are you? Well, I don't know how well I'm doing. Something's really wrong with Brother Dwayne. What's the matter? Well, I, I heard him talking about George. Yeah, he was saying that George has got something really wrong with him about the church and saying some stuff about well, what's it. the matter? I don't know. I really don't want to talk about oh, it. Oh, come on, tell me. Well, Brother Dwayne really seems like he's got a real bad resentment with George. Oh, tell me about it. Well, I don't know. Come on, come on, tell me. You know, tell well, me. Well, he was saying stuff about George and saying George was saying all kinds of stuff was wrong with the church and he was saying maybe God will get him one day and I was like, Dwayne's such an anointed man and how can an anointed man be talking about somebody in the church? Like oh that. my goodness! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! And I'm like, I don't know what to do, I, but I, I'm, I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, I can go tell my friend Joanne and um, we'll pray about it. Maybe we can all get together and we can all pray for it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright. I like that idea. Alright. Talk to you later. Good morning, 
Joanne, hey, how you doing? Come see, I gotta talk to you, girl, privately. What the what? Listen, I just talked to Farley outside, and he was telling me some news about Pastor, that he talked to Pastor, and Pastor's having some problems right now, and we need to pray for Pastor. What about Pastor you? is having some problems with a man named George. George? Yes, yes. It's some really bad problems, and he's having some hard feelings with George, and unfortunately, he's wishing George some ill will. And he's holding a grudge, and he's having a hard time with that. And was he just preaching on that? Yes, he was. Girl, let me tell you. We do. And we need to tell all the ladies in church to pray. We need to put him on that prayer line. And we need to tell everybody to pray. And I know a lot of people know about this now, because, well, Farley and I have been telling people, and I'm telling you, and, um, you know, we need to talk to the other ladies. So you and I need to tell all the ladies. Okay. I'm okay. going to tell Janice. That way she can call Eleanor for the prayer line. Yes. And, and we can get everybody her. involved in this. Great. Okay. I'll go do that now. And I'll go do it too. Okay. Talk to you later. Man, I don't know what's wrong. It's like I don't have any life anymore. <clears throat> All I can think about is the wrong that people's done me. And while I'm thinking about it, it feels good. I don't know. Food don't taste good no more. Church ain't fun no more. If I wasn't a pastor, I might leave that church. Trying to go find me another one. I ain't getting fed, but I'm the one doing the feeding. All I can think about is getting that guy back. I stay up at night. I mean, how dare he? That's just ugly. It'd be nice if I could forgive him, but I really don't want to because I want to get him back.